Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video of Against the Sicilian. Well, guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super amazing way to crush the Sicilian by the delayed Lapin variation. So, today I'm gonna show you how to play the delayed Lapin variation against the Sicilian. Let's go e4, c5, and here. We are gonna play the move C3, known as the Lapin Variation. Well, today we are not gonna cover the Lapin, we are gonna cover the Delayed Lapin. First of all, let me tell you that one pawn crushes the Sicilian. Okay? So after C3, the trap which I'm gonna show you is in the 93, D6. Where we are gonna play Knight F3, and this is known as the Delayed Lapin. But can you confirm that everyone is going to play d6? Maybe someone play knight c6 or knight f6. Then what? That's why a better way to achieve the delayed lapin is with the move knight f3. Because here the best move and the most popular move is d6. And now we can play c3 and it's the same position and it is a delayed lapin variation. Well, in today's video, we are going to cover the delayed lapin, not the lapin. In some other video, we are going to cover the Lapin variation. Well, let's go with the delayed Lapin with the move C3. Here, the main aim of the white is to play D4 and just take away the center. So, black plays the move Knight C6, main line. But here we are anyway going to play D4. And here, taking, taking the pawn back for black is very bad because white just get these two pawns in the center, which is very good. We can just push any of the pawns d5 or e5 or we can just play bishop e3 bishop d3 knight c3 and castle and it's going to be a very good position for white computer shows total one point advantage to the white camp so taking is just very bad for black here black can try a very tricky move bishop to g4 and the idea is actually very tricky the idea is if you play any, any random move, let's say x3, then black can just take the knight. And if we take with the queen, then we just lose our pawn. And also maybe the queen. But anyway, if, if the correct move is queen d1, stopping this, but then also black is just a simple, clear, clean pawn up. And thus, in this position, we had to take the knight with the pawn. But then also, our pawn structure is just horrible. And black is just completely better. That's why in this position, we can't just play something like x3. Here, there are two very tricky moves for white, which is to kill black. Two very tricky moves. First one is d5. And here, we are just attacking the knight. And here... While black has to move the knight. Here black may try to tempt the move knight e5. A very tempting move. Trying to pin. And we cannot take the knight because we lose our queen. But actually we are going to take the knight. Queen sacrifice. Because after bishop takes d1. It's just bishop d5. Check. And the king has no escape. There's nothing and there's no piece instead of the queen which can block the check and so queen has to come on the way and now queen takes g7 check after king takes after king to d8 knight f7 check and after king d7 we are not gonna take the rook because the rook is not running we are gonna take the bishop and the rook is now also stuck after let's say knight f6 we can just take the rook and white is just completely winning. White is just a full rook in one piece up. And if this knight comes, this is just going to be a very bad position for black. White is just completely winning. Well, guys, let me tell you that this move, d5, is very popular. I mean, many players have fallen for this trap with the move d5. And thus, I think that after you play d5, many black players know that if we play knight e5, then we are going to get stuck. So this is just go back. And then we, they are going to play knight e7. And f6, and they are going to be having a really solid game. Not to mention, if black goes here, we can just play this. 
and the black net is stuck. But the thing I am saying that men, well, that now black players know that after d5, if they go knight d5, they just lose the game. And thus, here I recommend another very tricky move, which none of the chess players or any YouTuber, chess YouTuber has told. Knight to d2. Silent killer move. And here black would think, your opponent would think, oh, my opponent just did a blunder. d5 was the best move, and now he's not playing, I'm gonna take this pawn. Here we are gonna take the back pawn back. And here if black takes a knight, then you're just super happy. We have a super pawn center and black is just not black just cannot take the d4 pawn. It's a very good position for white. White is just completely better. But here black may try to play the moon knight takes d4 and think that now black is winning. Because he's just one pawn up and also this is a pin. But that's a misunderstanding by black because here comes the super savage move. Knight takes d4. If you take the queen, it's Almost the same thing. Queen d7 takes, takes, and he is just gonna take the bishop, and what is just a full piece up. So, guys, this was the beautiful chess trap, the delayed lap in variation to crush the Sicilian. Always remember, one pawn crushes the Sicilian. But, guys, let me tell you that this is a very in, uh, uh, crucial position a crucial position for both of the players because here yes the best move is d5 but now at times many players know that knight e5 game loses for black to so just go back knight d7 and continue the game so here i recommend tricky move knight d2 where black just can lose so guys that's all for today i hope you enjoyed today's video like the video subscribe to my channel and comment down below what type of videos you all want well guys we are gonna meet in the next video till then be safe and healthy and keep watching incredible chess peace out